Yeah, it's your boy Crypto Blood. Welcome to another episode of My Two Satoshis. It is March 1st, 2018. We're rocking out to some EPMD. Classic right here, people. I want to give a shout out to Joe Pinkston for the song request of the day. He said here, CB, how about some EPMD? You got to chill. Love it, man. Appreciate the song request. Ironically enough, this was right after um someone requested so just some straight eric uh eric sermon so eric sermon's part of the epmd group rap duel for those that don't know some classic old school hip-hop but again thanks for the uh song request for today we're gonna get right into it um markets are kind of okay you know it's some of the majors are up just slightly uh, but not marginally from a percentage perspective, not not much going on today. Um, but from technical stance, from a technical stance, we're back above that trending line, people. We're back above it. So we just got to keep track on this. It bounced off of both of my lines. The support, uh, the yellow one down here, and the resistance line. We're taking another stab at crossing above that area so that currently is still um, an area that we need to see good uh, trading volume above which is around 11,000 uh, BTC USD and this is from the Bitstamp exchange just to keep you guys in the loop so again right now if we get a second failure on this red dotted uh, resistance line I have here, we could possibly be trading in the channel for a bit. Uh, but as of now, I'm still looking at this dotted line as a pseudo support area for us. So to the upside, we just need to see something above 11,000 trading um, and uh, meaning candles closing and opening above 11,000 on the one hour chart if we can do that the next level we need to look out for really is um, this this high here that I have circled which is 11,700 or you can just say 11,800 that's a major uh, area we need to get above after we clear 11,000 people so just keep that in mind we'll just keep them keep an eye on that nothing major going on today from from that standpoint but um, I do want to take a look at uh, Segwit's percentage adoption network adoption on Segwit for Bitcoin so let's take a look at that so Segwit adoption is it fell back a little bit actually from 30% we're now down to 26% so that's funny it's in between my range of 25% and 30% that I uh, pro projected or predicted that we would be uh, and I didn't I didn't uh, necessarily think we would have a range so this is interesting to see um, I thought we would get to a certain point and kind of just stay there until further adoption uh, came online with Segwit but that's where we are right now people 26% Segwit adoption on to the actual article of the day and I have to give a shout out to Smokey from the Webbot chat room for this he dropped this on me uh, earlier this morning and definitely was like yeah let's let's cover this I had an article I wanted to cover but I thought this was much more important and could be some of what the cause of the ERC 20 ICO token rut we're going through price uh, issues or suppression could be caused from this fundamental bear news fundamentally bear news that we're getting now uh, out of New York Times so let's take a look at what this article is talking about here it says here subpoenas signal SEC crackdown on initial coin offerings it goes on to say here the Securities and Exchange Commission has sent subpoenas to dozens of people and companies behind the raise or rise of so-called initial coin offerings, a clear sign of the agency's desire to rein in the popular new 
fundraising method. Over the last few months, the commission has asked for information from companies that have sold new virtual currencies to raise money for their projects, as well as advisory firms and lawyers who have helped with these sales, according to four people who have seen some of the subpoenas. The people ask not to be identified because the subpoenas are part of confidential legal negotiations. The, demand, the demands for information began last year and companies have continued receiving them in recent months, the four people said. Nick Morgan, a former lawyer in the SEC's enforcement division, said that according to his contracts in the industry, or contacts I should say, in the industry, the subpoenas had gone out to as many as 80 companies and individuals. Mr. Morgan, who is now a lawyer at Paul Hastings' firm, said that those numbers would make this one of the broader regulatory sweeps he had seen. I'm not surprised. <laughs> the SEC had no comment on the subpoenas, which were first reported on Wednesday by the Wall Street Journal. It goes on to say here, people, John Clayton, the chairman of the SEC, has said on several occasions that most of the virtual currencies that have been sold should have been categorized as securities and registered with regulators, which few companies have done. Companies have been able to get around regulatory checks because they have collected the money in Bitcoin and other virtual currencies, which can be sent without going through any banks or other middleman that might look into the legality of the transaction. Oh man, so a final um, paragraph here in this article. I'm not going to read the entire thing. I just did want to just highlight some of the major points. It says here, in a sign of the breadth of the agency's efforts, the subpoenas have been sent out by SEC offices in multiple cities, including Boston, San Francisco, and New York. In, uh, according to the four people who have seen the subpoenas, the subpoenas have asked companies for a wide array of information about the virtual currencies they have sold, including, listen to this, including the information used to market the digital token and the identity of the investors who bought them. The people who saw the subpoena said, wow. So I'm starting to change my thesis and and this is my overall concept about market moves um and sentiment i personally never think well i'll say this it's a very small percentage of the time where one thing is the catalyst for um an asset or an entire market to go in one direction or the other um i think it's always a number of things that make a market a market um, a number of data points that individuals um, use irrespective of any other person they use input and make decisions based on that but collectively it comes out in the in the form of price uh, appreciation or um, price declines so I think what where we are in the ERC token uh, climate right now I think it's a it, it was a combination of ether deltas issues uh, lack of liquidity for these ERC 20 tokens and in addition to in addition to that I think it's also the subpoenas that have been going out um, many of the people you got to think it's probably a scenario like this if 80 or plus or more companies have been subpoenaed by the SEC that news within the companies starts starts to travel and those individuals start to buy or, or I would say sell a little bit of their positions uh, quite naturally I would think that would happen and so um, I think that's what's happening here with a lot of these ERC 20 tokens and um, to me I don't know I think it's a buying opportunity but it just depends on we may see another wave of bad news from this whole subpoena uh, deal with the SEC because you're going to now, I, I, can, I can see this happening, you have uh, another wave of, of information or news come out talking about 
the SEC um, suing some of these companies um, and possibly forcing some to close down. So just be cautious here. Um, and again, everything is not FUD. Okay, some things are truly uh, external things that are going on in the space that are causing negative impact on the community and the industry. So just wanted to give you guys that heads up. There may be more uh, tail risks regarding this issue with SEC subpoenas going out. And I'm sure many of them will not pass, you know, the litany's test litmus test so just keep that in mind and uh, we'll see how things pan out let me know what you guys think what is causing this current rut in ERC 20 uh, tokens our ICO tokens they're not all ERC 20 but many I would say a majority of them are what do you think is causing this rut is it the SEC's news about subpoenaing subpoenas on many of these companies or is it ED, you know, Ether Delta and their issues. I do hear that they're back online now. Um, or is it a combination of uh, both? It, you know, that's my that's my take on it. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Just let me know what you guys think about this topic. Um, make sure you definitely like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, click that bell. That will ensure you are alerted for every video that I upload, people. That's pretty much it for today. Have a great day. Thursday, I was going to say Wednesday. Great Thursday, and I'm out of here. It's your boy. Holla. I'm so swift and that's a natural fact. I'm like Zorro. I'm all in your back. I don't swing on no ropes or no.